hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to see how you can create a simple introduction screen using page view in flutter so let's start by creating so inside a body i'll take a page view so first i'll show you how page view works so this is the page view and its parameters okay so these are some parameters and now i'll show you the basic parameters that we are going to use which is children and inside children i'll take just a container and i'll take a three containers as my three pages inside our page view and to show it i'll change the color of our containers let's say colors dot black and for another let's say a color and colors dot let's say a red and for our last container would be color and color start let's say a yellow color okay now let's just save our app so as you can see now we have a black screen so it is a page you can scroll we have a red and yellow page inside our page view so what we can do now is there are many other parameters so by default the axis scroll direction is horizontal so as you can see when i change it to let's say a scroll direction like this of axis dot vertical like this let's save our app and now you can see when we scroll we can see the vertical scrolling in our page view let's just remove it and now for it we will create our basic UI for our introduction screen. So let's start by creating, let's take a child and inside a child we'll take a column and inside a column what we can do is let's take an image first. So for the image I'll take a padding and inside a padding I'll give the padding from the all sides. Let's take a value of 30 and what we can do as a child inside our padding let's give it a child value of this child and child will be our image dot assets and it will be assets slash images slash i have image one dot png so these are the images in my assets folder let's save our app and now you can see the image okay so below it what we can do let's take a title for our introduction screen so for title let's take a center and child will be our text and let's say a search and let's give it a style of let's say a text style and we'll change a font size let's say font size of let's say a 35 and we'll also change the font weight to font weight dot bold okay let's just save our app now and now we can see this our search title okay so what we can do is i'll simply add the cons so that our blue lines are gone i'll copy our title and i'll take a sized box below it so let's take a sized box like this and we'll give it a height of let's say a height of 20 okay and below it will have our subtitle so i'll paste it and i'll write like this is or uh, this will be our subtitle like this okay so we'll change the font size and font weight Okay, so let's change our font weight to a normal or just it like this this is normal let's just save our app okay so now what we can do is we'll align our text in the center so that when it's bigger text it looks good so like this we'll remove the const okay and now let's just save our app so now we can see we have our subtitle for our introduction screen so as you can see now we have our first page ready for our introduction screen 
let's just change a little spacing okay so these are our pages so what we are going to do is now let's just copy this container or uh, first we'll change the color of colors dot white okay so now let's just copy our container like this okay so copy and we'll replace it with our remaining two pages like this okay so now i have replaced it and we'll also change the images so i have three images in my assets folder and now what we can do is i'll simply change the image for our remaining page and i'll also change the title for example let's see what image we have okay so let's write something like share okay let's just save our app and for the third page let's write explore explore like this okay let's just save our app so now we have our three pages for our introduction screen ready so how we can control this is by page view controller so what we can do is go ahead and simply we'll create our page controller which is like this page controller will be our page controller and we'll initialize it like page controller like this and the initial page will be zero okay so and for the position we can get our position by using let's declare an int will be our current position like this and it will be the zero okay so we'll have our current position as zero and now let's just save our app and give our page controller to the controller like this page controller okay so now our page view has our page controller so how we can control it let's create buttons so for it we'll wrap our page view with an widget called column and we'll again wrap our page view with an widget with expanded like this expanded okay so okay so below our expanded what we can do is we can simply create a padding of let's just create a padding from all the sides i'll give it a value of 20 and now what we can do is inside the padding as a child i'll take a row okay and for the children i'll take a text button like this text button and 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 on the on press i'll just keep it as it is now and for the child i'll take a text which is let's say a text of what we can write is let's say write we can write a back button okay so what i can do is now i'll simply write const and now i'll just simply the copy this button okay let's copy it okay so now we'll paste it and i'll write a text called next so these are the, our two buttons let's save and see we have a back and a next button inside our view so i'll align it as a main axis alignment we'll align it in the space between okay so now we can see a proper design okay so now on in the on press we can use our controller let's write this const and in the on press we can use our page controller dot previous page like this okay so we'll give it a duration of let's give it a milliseconds of let's say a 500 milliseconds okay i'll add the const like this and for the curves you can give any curves let's give it a curves dot linear first to have a linear animation and in the same manner in the on press button of our back 
uh, no of our next we can write page controller dot next page like this and we'll again give it a duration of let's say a 500 milliseconds like this okay and we'll also give it a curve let's give it a different curve this time let's say ease or let's say ease okay okay so now let's just save our app now you can see when i press our buttons which is back and next let's just press next we can see the our page is getting scrolled programming okay so let's just press back okay so now what we can do is we can get our current position and we can disable our buttons so how we can do it go to your page view and use the on page changed it returns the value or let's say it returns an index okay so for let's change it to an index and we'll simply set change our state of our current position to our index okay current position equal to index like this let's just save our app so now we have our current position inside our current position variable so let's use it so what we can do here as we know that we have only three pages so we have 0 1 and 2 as our indexes so what we can do is let's write our current position like this if it's equal to zero and that is true then what we can do is we can simply return a container else it will show the text which is back okay and in the same manner what we can do is we can change the text in our next button so for that what we can do is we can write inside our text same if the current position is zero what we can do is we can remove this container and we it takes a text so let's remove our const first okay so let's remove const okay and if it's zero what we can say it will have a two okay so let's take a two and done so let's see now the back button is not there and when we click on our next button like this let's create our next button and now you can see we have our back button and our next button and once we are with our last page we see the next is changed to done so like this so this is how you can control your page views using page controller in page views so this is the simplest introduction screen we have created using page view widget in flutter so there are many other parameters you can explore them and hope you found this video helpful do like share subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video